Indeed. Uh, right, yes, so thank you for the introduction. Uh, my name is Thomas Gardner, and I'll be giving a talk on behalf of Jenny Brown, uh, who's heavily involved in the Cream Tea Project. Uh, multidisciplinary, as everyone has mentioned. So Cream Tea was all about uh, monitoring the wave overtopping, looking at now casting uh, with some novel sensors. So we've got um, two installations, one primarily in Dawlish, the other one in Penzance. I'll mainly talk about the Dawlish installation in the name of privacy. We've got a number of sensors there which are listed kind of on the side. There's also a mistake in this slide pack. It's not mine, so I can mention that. Um, we've got number two and number four, and that is a close-up view of them. So the wire wall there, which is collecting the wave overtopping information as it comes over, it's about seven to 12 capacitance wires on that that are measuring the resistance change as it goes across. And then we've got the B scanner, which is a beach profile system, uh, and that is taking the level um, between the tides. So one of the things that first came out was that that beach profiling makes quite a large difference. So if that bottom line is the, the European overtop uh, hazard threshold, and there's at least three times uh, during the monitoring that that would have been triggered. It's about a factor of two difference. The other thing that came out was the overtopping frequency distribution. Uh, I'm a computer scientist, so you have to forgive me with some of the science details here. But effectively what we're looking at is that predicted high tide. The previous theory was that after that, you would expect your overtoppings to start decreasing in frequency. And what we can see there is actually they begin to increase in frequency about two hours afterwards. It's still ongoing research into truly understanding what's happening there. Moving on to more of the technology, which I can talk about at end, is the, the actual systems that happen from this um, more Internet of Things style setup. So we have our wire over in the caller, and it gets wet. When it gets wet, it's going to transmit us data. That's going over the 3G network, so it's connected into the mobile network. Comes directly to us in NOC. Uh, we have a piece of software called Erda, which is an open source piece of software. Please do come and see me later if you want to know more about it. It's very interesting. We take loads of reference data sets, so we can see Met Office, Environment Agency, uh, Channel Coast, all gets put into Erda as a reference base. From there, we have a single point of access where we can do very interesting things. One of those is build apps. And so we can start looking at this, which is a coastal hazard app. This app effectively allows us to give people insights within about a 10-minute frequency to what's happening at these particular sites. Uh, that is a QR code that is at the bottom. Uh, if anyone wants to try and scan that briefly before I move on to the next slide, um, there is there on the poster. Uh, people can go and have a look at the data that is there. It wasn't just about the novel sensors, though. There was a whole range of stuff that was part of the Green Tea Project. A walk was created with some digital artists, so that took the geolocation of people that were going on walks around Penzance and Dawlish and then fed them information and facts around about where they were. It tied into the Coast Snap Gallery, uh, which is a big international uh, setup. This allows people at certain defined points along coastal walks to take pictures, georeference them, and then that builds up an archive of what the beaches look like over time. Uh, and there are videos now available of the beach profiles changing. And finally, there is the educational output that came out of this. So this project will live on in the sense that there is Key Stage 3, GCSE, and A-level uh, data sets now available that all tie into that coastal hazards application that I mentioned. Um, and that is me. So thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much.